Hi, welcome to helpyourmath.com. So we have these four problems, and we want to learn how to solve them uh, in an efficient way. So let's start with the first one. What we see here is x squared times y to the third to the fourth power. So originally, what this basically means is that we're multiplying each this part four times. So initially it could be it could look like this. Times x squared y to the third So what this means, as we know pro before, what this means is that we're adding each one. So 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, which in turn, is this is just equal to 4 times 2, which gives us 8. And the same could be applied to the 3. So we can have the 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, which is 4 times 3, which gives us 12. So suppose if we have a larger number, like, like say 16, this way wouldn't be that efficient. So we try to break it down into something smaller. And we use the same rule. So since we know this, we can just say 4 times 2 will give us x to the 8th, and 4 times 3 will give us y to the 12th. So as we move on to the second one, we understand that it says 2x to the negative, negative 2 times y to the third to the third power. So this whole will be to the third power. But this one has a leading coefficient. So let's pretend this one has a base power of 1. So since it has a base power of 1, you're basically just saying, with our initial rule, 2 to the third times negative 2 times 3, which is x, negative 6, 3 times 3, which is y to the ninth. So we know that 2 to the third power will give us 8. x to the negative 6 will just be x to the negative 6, and y to the ninth. However, this has a negative, so let's make this as a whole, remembering that there's one, and we make the switch. And that will then give us 8y to the ninth over x to the sixth. And this becomes positive. So it is no longer negative at the top, but instead positive. And this would be our answer for number two. As we go down to number three, we can see that this is no longer a 3, a 4, it's no longer a, a num it's a fraction. So uh, again, we see the leading coefficient, 16. So we have the imaginary 1. And we pretty much break it down step by step. So 16 to the 1 half. And then we have negative 8 times 1 half, which would give us x to the negative 4, and then 6 times 1 half, which would then give us y to the third. So we know that this can just be considered as a radical, because 16 to 1 half also translates to radical 16. So what this is saying is that radical 16 times x to the four, negative fourth times y to the third. So radical 16 can just be seen as 4. And then yet again, we have our x to the negative fourth and y to the third. So now we see that negative, and we know that this is a whole. So in order to make this positive, we switch it, which then gives us 4 y to the third, x to the fourth. All right, so as you can see, we have x to the negative 12 
times y to the ninth, all over 8, to the negative 1 third power. So we'll use our rules that we had before by always multiplying the exponents. So negative 12 times negative 1 over 3, that will give us x to the positive 4. 9 times negative 1 over 3, that would give us negative 3. So in terms, you would have y to the negative 3. So here we see the whole number. So 8 times, so let's pretend this has an imaginary 1. So 1 times negative 1 third, that will give us 1 third. So 8 is negative 1 over 3. So as we said before with our rules, when we have a negative exponent, we always want to convert it to be positive. So in order to do that, let's bring it up top. So we have 8, 1 to the third, x to the fourth, y to the negative 3. So now we have to bring this one, since it's negative, to the bottom. So 8 to the 1 third x to the fourth over y to the third. However, this is not the full answer yet because we need to simplify it. So as you can see, we have 8 to the 1 third power. And what we already know is that this can be converted into a cube root. So this can just be 3, 8. So now, in order to cancel this out, we have to understand that something to the third power will give us 8. And that number would be 2. Because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So in turns, the 3 cancels out, leaving the radical to cancel out. And this 8 to the 1 third can then become 2x to the fourth over y to the third, which is our final answer.